A local Marine is now facing charges this morning for what Barrington's police chief is calling a very disturbing act of vandalism. Police tell us the 21-year-old Marine admitted to spray painting a racist message at an affordable housing site. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler has more details now from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. And that Marine pleaded no contest to charges of vandalism and malicious injury to property. Neighbors tell us it's not the first time this site's been hit. Remnants of graffiti cover the sign marking the future site of Barrington's West Elmwood housing development. Police say 21-year-old Marine Christopher Gato tagged a racial slur on the sign last week. According to the police report, Gato told officers his parents live in the area and that the development is lowering the value of their home. It's just somebody's anger towards it, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I, and I know there's been other things sprayed on that before that also. Bob McGovern walks the area and noticed the graffiti. He says the housing project is a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Again, it's people who are, not, who are, who are concerned about the property values of low-income housing near their property. And, yeah. you know, and some guys they can't, you know, can't blame them in a way. Barrington police found Gato lying face down in the woods behind the sign at 4 a.m. Officers also spotted the empty spray paint can and an unfinished beer. In a statement, Chief John LaCrosse tells Eyewitness News, I consider this to be a disturbing act of vandalism. I am sending this case to the Attorney General's office to see if it fits the elements of a hate crime. They will be reviewing it this week. Gato's been ordered to pay restitution for all the damage. We did go to his home just a couple of blocks from here for comment, but no one came to the door. In Barrington with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.